Hello everyone. Welcome to English with Miss Xiao. Today we'll be looking into Form 5 English Unit 4 on the topic of shopping therapy. Our focus skill for today is speaking. In this lesson, you'll learn how to ask about and explain advantages as and disadvantages of ideas, plans, and arrangements. You'll also learn how to explain the main points of an idea or argument. Now, before we begin our lesson, let's warm up by sharing a little bit of your opinion on these three questions. The first question, do you enjoy shopping for clothes? Why or why not? Question two, do you prefer to buy locally produced items or well-known brands? Question three, which members of your family are difficult or easy to buy present for? Do you have something in your mind? Well, usually when we share our opinion, we will say something like, yes, I do, yes, I do enjoy shopping for clothes because uh, I enjoy uh, changing my clothes every day for different occasions. You can also say, no, I do not like shopping for clothes because I think it is troublesome. So when you share your opinion, you use thing, uh, phrases like, in my opinion, I think, and so on. Now moving on to the lesson, we'll first learn how to use expressions to give advice. When giving advice, you need to explain the pros and cons of each option before a choice is made. Meaning, you will state the advantages and disadvantages before making a final decision. As a person who gives advice, you should always start by asking the questions to know the problem, followed by advising, whereby you state advantages and disadvantages to the person. Now, can you state some of the expressions that you would use to explain the pros and cons of an option? Yes, you are right. You can say something like option A is good because of, and give your reasons. Or you can say option B is not a good choice because, and the reasons are given. Now we'll look at the six expressions listed here. So what I need you to do is identify which expressions are introducing advantages and which are introducing disadvantages. The first expression is option A has the risk of. The second sentence, the problem with option B is that the third sentence, however, on the plus side, option A. The fourth sentence, the benefit of option B would be. The fifth sentence, option A might not be the best idea because. And the sixth sentence, option B avoids the danger of. Are you able to identify the advantages and disadvantages expressed? Now let's look at the answer. Now, sentence number one, two, and five are stating disadvantages. These sentences uses keywords like has the risk of, the problem with might not be the best idea. While sentence number three, four, and six introduces advantages by using words like on the plus side, the benefit of, 
and avoids the danger of Now let's move on to more complicated expressions that can be used. Let's look at these five expressions listed. Here are some ways to introduce both advantages and disadvantages of one option. The first sentence, although option A has the risk of, the benefit would be. Number two, in spite of or despite the problem of, it might be better because. The third sentence, even though option B might cause, on the other hand, it might. Sentence number four, option A would be risky or less risky. However, on the plus side. And sentence number five, option B avoids the danger of but now can you identify where should you put the advantages and disadvantages in the sentences given here yes so here's how you key in the advantages and disadvantages so for the first sentence, although option A has the risk of, then you should key in the disadvantages, followed by the benefit would be, and you key in the advantages. Same goes for number two, in spite of or despite the problem of putting the disadvantages, it might be better because, and you state the advantages. The third sentence, even though option B might cause disadvantages, on the other hand, it might state the advantages. The fourth sentence, option A would be risky or less risky. However, on the plus side, state the advantages. And number five, option B avoids the danger of, you state the advantages, but, you will state the advantages later on. So here's how you can introduce both advantages and disadvantages for one option. Now let's move on to the speaking part where you shall role play with another student. Find your pair. One of you will be student A and the other will be student B. Make use of the expressions in the language bank to help you. Here's the language bank. You can choose to use the easy one where you state only either the advantage or disadvantage for the option using sentences from one to six, or you can opt to state both advantages and disadvantages for one option by using expressions from seven to 11. So now here's the task for student A and student B. Let's look at the task for student A. Look at the pictures and and use the information below to answer student on expression problem. Your brother has received a t-shirt for his birthday from his favorite aunt. She wants him to wear it this weekend at his birthday party, which his friends and family will be attending. However, he thinks the t-shirt is horrible and he doesn't want to wear it in front of his friends. Using the information, answer student B's questions. So you have the information on what are the possible solutions. Option one, he could wear the t-shirt to the party in order to please his aunt. Option two, he could exchange it for a different t-shirt, which he feel more comfortable in. And you also see that there are disadvantages given for each solution. 
for option one, he will feel embarrassed and uncomfortable and might not enjoy his birthday party as a result. And for option two, his aunt will be upset and hurt that he didn't like her choice. Now let's move on to the task for student B. Look at the pictures and ask student A these questions to find out what the situation is. You should ask, what is the problem? What are some possible solutions? What are the disadvantages of each solution? Finally, using the information received, give student A your advice on what you think the best solution is and why. Explain why you didn't choose the other solution. So make sure student A and student B study both the instructions given and as the picture too. So if you notice here, the t-shirt that the brother didn't like is the stripe P t-shirt. While the brother would like to wear the black t-shirt. You must understand the task thoroughly before starting to speak. This will help you to give better ideas and use better expressions. You can always rephrase the sentences given here. Now let me show you how the conversation will look like. I will begin as student B. Hi, James. You look like you have some problem. Hi, John. Yes. Really mine. So, James, what is the problem? Well, my brother has received a t-shirt for his birthday from our favorite aunt. She wants him to wear it this weekend at his birthday party, which friends and family will be attending. However, he thinks the stripy t-shirt is horrible and he doesn't want to wear it in front of his friends. Oh, I see. So what are some possible solutions that you can think of? James? Well, for me, I think he has two options. The first option is that he could wear the t-shirt to the party in order to please our aunt. While the second option would be he could exchange it for a different t-shirt, which he will feel more comfortable in, and his choice would be the black t-shirt. All right, I see. What are the disadvantages of each solution then, James? Hmm. Well, both options has disadvantages. If he wears the t-shirt that he doesn't like, um, I'm pretty sure he will feel embarrassed and uncomfortable. As a result, he will not enjoy his birthday party. As for option two, if he wore the black t-shirt that he likes, I'm very sure our aunt will be upset and hurt that he didn't like her choice. Well, James, after listening to the solutions and the disadvantages that you have stated, I think the best solution would be to wear both t-shirts during the party. My suggestion is that he wears the stripy t-shirt first and take a picture together with your aunt to make her happy. And after which, he could change the t-shirt. This way, both your aunt and him would be happy. It is not a good choice to choose either one because somehow it would upset your aunt if he doesn't wear the t-shirt. And if he has to wear the t-shirt throughout the party, he would feel very unhappy. 
that's all for my opinion. But in the end, the choice is still your brother's. Thank you, John, for the great idea. I will relay this to my brother. After going through the lesson and demonstration that I've given, I'm sure you're now more confident on how to go about speaking where you will need to ask questions and state both advantages and disadvantages, as well as explaining your opinion. Great. Before we end the lesson, let's review what we have learned today. When you are asked to give advice, you should always ask the person for more information about the problem. After listening to the problem, then you will state the advantages and disadvantages of the options that are available. Finally, you'll give the advice based on your opinion. Great, before we end the lesson, let's review what we have learned for today. So what should you do when you're asked to give advice? Yes, you're right. You should always start by asking questions to get more information from the person. Yes, you're right. The second step is to state the advantages and disadvantages of the options that are available. Then give your opinion on what is the best choice. So what are some of the useful expressions to use in giving advice? Can you remember any of it? Yes, well done. You could use expressions like option A has the risk of the problem with option B is that or you can even use more advanced expressions like, although option A has the risk of, the benefit would be, or even option A would be risky or less risky, however, on the plus side. All right, that's the end for the lesson today. There is another practice at the end of this video. Do try it out with your partner using the tips learned in this lesson. It would be a great idea if you could exchange roles after finishing it for the first time. Have fun and thank you for watching this lesson. Bye. So here's another situation for you to practice with your partner. Pause the video when you are practicing. Try to exchange the roles with your partner.